Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So here's a character that Dokkan just released for us. This is a new free-to-play Kid Krillin. Um, Kid Krillin is not like, oh my god, back off Red Zone Fusion Zamasu or anything like that. But I look at his kit and I, I do like what I see. Um, This looks like a character that's more so like, you know, gonna be like Super Battle Road type Battlefield type stuff. But I mean, dude, he's got tools. He's a support, he can seal, he can lower uh, enemy attack, he can debuff them, he has a scouter, he has dodge, like, he's got a lot of stuff, man. So, uh, like, he's not completely trash. I mean, I, again, uh, he's not completely, you know, oh my god, like, there's, you know, no point in using any character, but I, I do like that this guy seems to me to not be a complete throwaway, right? Um... Now, in terms of the build, of course, uh, we just gave him full dodge. Um, if I'm going to be using this Krillin, um, it's, it's you know, probably going to be, again, like a Battlefield, Super Battle Road type setting, um, you know, where we could take advantage of his attack debuff, his seal, um, you know, his dodge, his scouter, you know, those types of abilities, and his support, right? It's funny. It's like, if you had this exact kit, maybe with, with a, a couple of minor alterations, on a summonable character, it could be pretty good, right? Again, a, a couple of alterations, but, like, this would be a really good kit for, like, the banner unit, right? Like, if only, you know, Zerloin, Rabanra, and Zarbudo were rocking this, I think they'd be a little bit better. All right, now, there's a couple of things to Krillin. Let's just start with, like, the typical showcase stage I do, like, Red Zone Cell, um, and then we are going to want to see Krillin, you know, sealing and doing all that stuff as well, so let's jump in. Alright, so we're here in an event. Um, we have an interesting little rotation. Uh, for starters, let's take a look at Krillin's link set here. So Krillin has Courage, Brainiacs, Turtle School, Infighter, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of Dragon Balls, and Shadow Element. I guess I probably should make sure that his... Yeah, there we go. Uh, so those are all of his links, right? So he's going to work, of course, really well with LR Jackie Chun. Now, notice the Scouter effect. That is from Krillin. So Krillin gets a medium chance to dodge and then a scouter for three turns when HP is 86% or less. Um, maybe we would get a chance. I, I'm going to assume that this is going to be like a universal three turn scouter. But I mean, I guess we could we could double try and double check that. But all right, let, let's see what Krillin does right here. Um, so again, he's getting 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets 120% attack and defense on super. He gets another 82% attack if the enemy is sealed. Um, he lowers enemy attack and defense by 30%. He's giving two key 30% attack and defense to Dragon Ball Saga, which is good. If HP is 88% or higher at the start of turn, there's a medium chance of an additional super. We're not going to get that, but, you know, who cares? It doesn't really matter too much. Um, we talked about his, you know, scouter and the chance to dodge. And then his super attack effect, he gets 30% attack and defense. And then he also seals. So, again, he's decent. He, you know, what I like is that he actually has a toolkit. We'll play him in front of the super attack. We'll see, either we'll dodge it or we'll see how well he'll tank, right? He does have type advantage. We do want to keep that in mind. All right, so let's see how we do. How our boy uh, Kid Krillin. Now, remember, this is, this is the, like, we have, they awakened, it's, what was it, two different Krillins. Into, oh, we, well, we sealed them. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, um, we, they awaken two different Krillins into kind of like a Kid Krillin, like, it, 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 they're like SRs, right? So this is the first Kid Krillin that we get, who's actually, like, not, like, super, like, like, you know, he's an actual TUR. Like, we could actually activate the hidden potential system for him. This is the first Kid Krillin that we're able to do that with. I assume Kid Krillin is going to be part of the LR. Uh, from the Red Urban Army Saga for Goku as well. Keep that in mind. All right, so Bulma and Path to Power Kid Goku should be able to finish off uh, this Cell right here. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of Cell Chan. Yep, bam. Okay, he's done. All right. Um, so remember, Krillin, he's going to get a little bit of an extra attack buff as well. What is it? 82% if the enemy is sealed. Now, that first attack we did on the, on the last turn where he sealed Cell, like, that wouldn't have counted. So, he would have needed to have done an additional super and we would have seen it. Alright, so we should still have a scouter up, by the way. Yep, there it is. Okay, perfect. 
Um, I could just we'll, we'll just put Path to Power Kid Goku right there in slot one. That'll be fine for us. Bam. All right, what is Krillin looking like right here? 183k defense he's at. Remember, we now have Bulma support up, so he gets what 120% on super. Plus the 30% from a super attack effect. I mean, he's still coming in short of 500k, huh? Um, so yeah, definitely full dodge, I would say. Since we're, I mean, if we're if we're not even hitting above 500k, like that does kind of make me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Damn, I love dodging. <laughs> All right, anyway, um. Yeah, let's get a couple of rotations for Krillin. After this, we'll just go to, like, a, a different event, one that we could, you know, more consistently, like, seal the enemy on. Um, and then, you know, we'll just go to, like, the, I don't know, like, the Super Saiyan 3 Broly Dokkan event or something like that. Um, and we'll have Krillin get the extra attack buff. So, yeah, 4 million right there. Again, he's not a complete throwaway. Um, I mean, when you consider some of the things that he could do here, like, I, I, I do like him. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like, oh my god, he's just, you know, mega god, dude. Like, he's just so crazy. But, like, they actually gave a free-to-play character have abilities. And it's very easy to grind up Krillin, right? Because Krillin um, is just from a Dragon Ball story. Like, that's a mega easy grind. It's not like Krillin is a, I, I don't know, a prime battle LR or something like that, right? It's going to be pretty easy to get him. Uh, I mean, giving just a scouter to a free-to-play character, I mean, that is pretty surprising. I, like, his condition for his scouter, it's not even really, like, the worst ever, right? Like, just fall below 86% HP. I mean, it's... I, I, I wouldn't be that tough to activate. I probably would... I probably would prefer if he would just get it the first three turns instead, but, I mean, I do like it. All right, this will probably be the best turn we're going to see from him, by the way. Uh, yeah, we can run my kid Goku in slot one, because, again, he, he could have a chance to dodge, which could help us out quite a lot. Uh, 178. So, remember, Krillin is getting huge support here. No, are you kidding me? We're not going to get seven with this. Damn. Because my kid Goku, he could take a lot of damage from this cell. If this cell supers, he could do a lot of damage. Okay, perfect. If, if he supered before, my kid Goku supered, right? All right, um, sure, let, let's let's see what uh, Krillin does in this rotation, right? Remember, we're getting Bulma support, plus we have support from both Kid Gokus. So, 4.27 right there. Okay, sure. Um, all right, I mean, we've kind of, we're seeing, oh, is, is Cell going to super here? He is. Dodge it? <laughs> yeah. You guys know the build for this boy. <laughs> Hello, the cord. Uh. All right, let, let's. Um, I, I mean, we. Hey, dude, we went into a reasonable difficulty fight, and that boy Krillin. Oh my God, did he cook? All right, let's head to. Now nah, let's do one more rotation because we could get the rotation. Um, with Jack, we're gonna have Kid Goku, Jackie Chun, and Krillin. Let's do that. Let let let's just quickly do that rotation, um, and then after that we will uh, skip ahead to uh, like a different fight. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty good rotation here for Krillin, right? Again, we're gonna have, I mean, most of his links activated. He's gonna look good here. Um, let's. I really would like to get the seven orbs with Kid Goku. Looks like we're not gonna be quite at seven. It's all right. I mean, Kid Goku is not... He's not going to die to a super attack. Um, well, I guess if that first one was a super, that would be bad for us. Regardless, we'll make sure to get this this exact rotation. I want to see this, and I want to see Krillin with the extra um, attack. from Because if the enemy is sealed, he gets another, what is it, 82% attack. We'll just get those two rotations, this one and then that one, and then we'll be done. Kid Goku's not going to die to a super after he super attacks. He would have This Cell could kill him if Cell would super first. All right, dude, all these, these are all weapon supers, remember, so we're getting close to that title. One day I'll get that title, man, one day. One day it's coming in. One day, one day, one day. All right, Krillin, what, what's our attack set right here? 4.87, so yeah, that's the highest we've seen from him. If he gets an additional super, he would jump up above 5 million right there, so okay. Um, remember, LR Jackie Chun, I mean, if it's not an AoE boss, LR Jackie Chun is a very effective character. And remember that Kid Krillin is indeed on the world tournament category, right? Kid Krillin is on there, so 
he he's getting the support from Jackie Chun. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's hop into again like the um Super Saiyan 3 Broly Dokkan event or something like that. Alright, guys, so we are here in uh the Super Saiyan 3 Broly Dokkan event. So we're just looking, we'll get two rotations right here. Um, I just want to see this is our initial turn right here with Krillin. Uh, we had Bulma support last turn. So we're looking like this. Um, and then next turn, uh, we're going to have uh, Path to Power Kid Goku. We'll have LR Jackie Chun. We'll have Krillin. But then we'll also have uh, the Super Saiyan Broly. Um, he'll be sealed so we can see Krillin with that extra little attack buff. So let me know what you guys think of the Kid Krillin. But, like, I mean, he's okay, right? Scouter, we got support. Oh, no. We're missing the 10 million attacks out from Kid Goku. Yeah, bruh. The, the cord issues are, you know, alive and well again. I, bro, I can't help it. They're, dude, the cord issues are, they're so hard to deal with. It's impossible. It's impossible, man. Oh, not another super attack dodge. Oh, my God. All right, 4.2. Sure, sure. All right, so let's just get this next. Um, oh, damn, up to six. Oh, there we go. That was, that's with the seal. With the additional super, we saw it. Okay. He's up to 6.19 right there. Um, let's still get the rotation with Jackie Chun next turn, um, and then we can finish up. All right, let's see what Krillin gives us on uh, this uh, turn right here. We can go ahead and hit that right there. Bam. I mean, maybe we get an extra crit or whatever. Who cares? All right, we have most of our links up. Yeah, let's see what uh, Kid Krillin does right here. Remember, Broly is sealed, so we got the extra attack buff. Right, remember Krillin is getting the 30% attack and defense on a super attack effect. He's okay. Um, I'm not going to be, again, taking him into red zone fusions and Zamasu, but like he's, he's solid, he's solid. Maybe if his dodge was start a turn, he'd be like a little bit more effective, right? Rather than like HP conditional, but he's not the worst ever. 6.6. .6. So yeah, that's the highest number we've seen thus far. Okay, pretty good. And then, oh, seven. God damn, Krillin. Calm down, boy. All right, this is an exhilarating match. Uh, Krillin Youth, or, you know, Kid Krillin. His leader skill is World Tournament Category Key 3 and 50% of stats. His super attack is the Turtle Style Combo, which raises attack and defense by 30% for one turn, does supreme damage to the enemy, and then seals enemy super attack. His passive skill, Preparations in a Pinch. He gets 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 120% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Then he gets an additional 82% attack if the enemy is sealed. He also lowers attacked enemies' attack and defense by 30%. So that would be a one-turn debuff. Pretty good, again, for like a super battle road run. Uh, then he gives Dragon Ball Saga category allies 2 key and 30% attack and defense. Uh, then Krillin has a medium chance, a 30% chance of launching an additional super when HP is 80% or more. And then he gets a medium chance, a 30% chance of dodging enemy attacks. And he gets the scouter for three turns when HP is 86% or less. So he does have a lot of tools. And he's not easy aid yet. So if this guy gets an easy aid at some point, he really could be quite good for a free-to-play character. I mean, they've made some of these Dragon Ball Saga free-to-play units really good before. So we could really see it with this Krillin. Then his links are Courage, Brainiacs, Turtle School, Infighter, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, 12 key multipliers, 135%. Um, and then our boy Krillin is on uh, numerous different teams here. So he, of course, is another World Tournament buff, right? World Tournament looking pretty solid for sure. Uh, he's also on the Youth Category team. Always nice to get more options there. Dragon Ball Saga, of course, always nice to get more options for this team also. Uh, Krillin is also on Bond of Master and Disciple. Uh, then Krillin is over here on the Earthling category team, which has gotten a lot of good units over the last couple of years. Uh, Krillin is also on Battle of Wits, so he's got a 200% leader skill there. Uh, Krillin is also on the Turtle School category, which of course is pretty strong. Uh, then Krillin is here on the Bond of Friendship category, because of Goku, which is good. Uh, then Krillin is on Earthbred Fighters. And then finally, Krillin is also on the Tournament Participants category team. So let me know what you guys think of the free-to-play Kid Krillin. I think for a free-to-play character, though, he's definitely a decent free-to-play unit.